All right. Hola, hola, hola. Okay, I'm back again for another work in progress. Probably going to be my last work in progress on this kit. I am still trying to finish this on time. You know, I'm buckling down. That doesn't mean I'm going to finish it on time. But, you know, I'm going to try my best. All right, so really quick here. What I have done so far, besides the... Um, the top part and the bottom part torso of the sedanju is my shoulder so let me talk about this shoulder really quick um not a lot of modification i for this kit uh for this part of the uh the kit all i did is uh do a little bit of scribing here and there and uh what i've also done is uh split the armor in half right there because this was originally just one piece right there but since i wanted to uh split the armor a little bit uh, so that i could show more details or at least give that illusion uh, that's what i did i just split it in half how did i do that let me uh kind of demonstrate it all i did was repeatedly scribe the the half the um the line right there and then when it's finally thin enough all i did is split it and then i uh, sanded it really quick and then that's it right there so the one thing that you have to keep in mind when you're doing stuff like this like splitting armors is that you will still have uh that there's still gonna be some kind of stabilization that's still gonna be there when you split your armor so case in point this kit right here like i said when it, it was uh one part right there before so what i did is make sure that there's still um crevices where all this little um male part of the armor is can still latch on to i don't know if i'm explaining this right but i hope uh people understand what i'm trying to say I'm not much of a, um, what do you call that? I'm not a very technical guy. I just do stuff. But since, uh, like I said, there was a, um, like a little peg right here in the middle that this uh, part of the armor had, which attaches to this. But the good thing about it is it also gets reinforced right here with these little holes right there because the armor still has this parts right here that that it uses for support to grab a hold of the inner frame so for me it's perfectly okay to split this armor in half because there's still gonna be um uh this parts right here that lets it attach to the inner frame you know what I'm saying? Those holes and these pegs right here. And also, you can also use a um, glue to glue that in and to glue this armor in in there if you need more support for it to stay into the, uh, to the frame. That's why I did that. So similar to the arm that I'm working on right now, uh, at first, uh, this is the forearm right over here, right? It's in one solid piece right there so all i did is i split that forearm in half and then now i got this so i see as you can see i can still attach this in it's not gonna come off right because when you look at the frame the inner frame i'm gonna take that out for now the armor uses these pegs right here to attach to attach into this is something that you're gonna have to learn if you're gonna do these kinds of techniques. But uh, like right there, it it's you still got those little holes right there that attaches into that those inner frame pegs right there. So it's perfectly fine for you to carve this thing in half to uh, have this kind of effect right here and it would still be okay and it's not coming off because the goal for me when i'm while i'm building this kit uh customizing this kit is to show off more the inner frame 
and this is the best way that I found to do that. Just a little bit, just doing subtractions and armor splitting to do it. Um, but that's what I have done so far. I oh, and then let me show you guys the uh, what I've finished so far. Besides panel lining, is this is what I got now, right? I am coloring this kit with red and uh, like a dark red, white, and blue. I'll go over the paints that I use once I'm done with the whole thing, but this is what I have so far. It's a color shifting paint, a, uh, a uh, clear color red, whatever, and uh, color shifting paint in white, and that's it so far. This is what I got. This is not the end product. I just wanted to see what it looks like for now. I'm probably gonna put one more coat of white on this thing here, and then we'll call it a day. And then I'll panel line it with red. All right, but that's the head. Boom. Looks pretty cool. I like how it ended up. This is the this is the one that I'm nervous the most is the uh, chest piece right here, because this was originally where the Xeon logo was, and I scraped the hell out of that. To, and then made my own uh, design on it right there. And, and I think it turned out pretty good, you know? But that's what I got so far. I probably gotta reline this parts right here because I don't think it's deep enough. But we'll do that later. But yeah, halfway there, right? Uh, so really quick here, just a quick tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys how I uh, do a little bit more uh, subtraction and this is another technique that you could use when to uh to modify your kit to show your the inner frames on your kit oh, i'm sorry i took that out so besides armor splitting that you can do you could also ba -ba 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 -ba, take that out do you can also scrape armors off I mean so this part right here as you can see there's not a lot of gap and if anything you'd mistake that as a seam line right but since you want to show off the armor instead of uh sealing a seam line you could just you know but that's the name of the game show show off more in the inner frame so what i'm gonna do is scrape the the attaching points of the armor to give it that kind of effect to show off so you can show off the inner frame. How many times have I said inner frame? I'm all over the place. I shouldn't be giving a, I, well, this is a new way of uh, doing, uh, giving uh, instructions or lessons. I'm not an expert by the way, but this is just how I do things. But, so, really quick here, this is what we're gonna do. We are just gonna scrape this off right so i don't because uh, i'm trying to show the inner frame originally it looks like this right here it seals off like oh that's the wrong one it seals off like that and then there's these pegs here but the good thing about it is see this little pegs right here right there you will still have some support that would hold on to the inner frame. So it's perfectly okay for you to get rid of all these pegs in here. And uh, you can just use glue to attach this in in there. See, cause look, look what I'm gonna do. Uh, this is a perfect example. I just put it right there. Look, it's not coming off, right? Right? So you can just snipe, uh, snip that off and then glue it in there because nobody's gonna see this part of the kit and then you, it would show the somewhat the inner frame of the kit because it, it's gonna look like this by the time i am done scraping some stuff off this uh armor right there it's gonna kind of look like it's open like that you know the uh, bad part about this kit is the inner frame is not as cool as the ones that you see now when you build the uh, the newer Gunpla kits that Bandai has been releasing. But you still have all these moving parts in the inner frame like that that I want to show off too. That's why I want to do stuff like that. So in order for me to do that, all you need is a file right here. 
and all you gotta do is oh that thing flew off all you gotta do, all you gotta do is scrape it off that's all you gotta do all right to uh to your heart's desire how much you want to scrape off of the armor so that you can show the inner frame right there right so now come on this is just gonna be a rough cut of what I'm trying uh, what I'm talking about right here so with this gap that I will create on that arm it's gonna show off the inner frame more let me just get to scraping here so while I'm doing this let me just go yell ASMR over and over again because that seems to be a YouTube thing Gunpla YouTube thing that everybody does but I don't have that kind of setup so I'm just gonna keep saying ASMR 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 eventually I'll be done with this so I'll be right back and I'm gonna pop this on when I'm done all right so i'm back so this is what i'm talking about right here just a quick uh, never mind that i just did the one side but uh this is what i'm talking about just a quick rough cut of what i'm trying to talk about this is no longer a seam line it seems like now i've created a gap between the two to show off the inner frame this is just a rough one it'll be cleaned up i swear but this is just for quick demonstration all right so that's all you do is you scrape away with your file make sure that there's still going to be some kind of existing um support that this that the armor you're trimming uh is still going to be present when you attach it into the inner frame and then yeah that's it that's all you gotta do you know this is just to open up your the uh the kit a little bit more and show off the inner frames for it all right so that's it for me subscribe if you like everybody stay safe and uh thank you for watching bye bye